igual está muy para Porque en el centro también y
va? Allá, a la izquierda. ¿De por la zapata? No, aquí ya se acabó la calle. <risa>
it's possible we can actually show you a little bit about the process we will just talk with salvador and whatever salvador wants to show us this is uh, something special for you this is not nothing to do with the tour but uh, now that we are in guadalajara you must have to see the the agaves and not not only by the road we have to stop and see how they grow and, and it's very interesting you're gonna enjoy it see? so that's gonna be in a few more minutes another problem that we have in there there's no bathroom see? so but uh, it, as soon as we get uh, get on the bus in 10 minutes we have a, a toll booth that we can use the bios in there. okay actually from the uh, place that we're gonna stop with Salvador it's one hour to get to the place where we're having lunch. And then after that, remember that I mentioned, or I did mention it in the uh, itinerary, that I will give you some free time in Tlaquepaque. And then we're heading back to where, getting the bus. And then from Tlaquepaque to the hotel, it's about 40, half an hour. And then we're gonna check in. And then for those that want to join me in this afternoon for the walk, of course, see, it's up to you. But uh, if it's necessary, we will change the time. But uh, according to our itinerary, we're just uh, exactly in due time. So it's going to be quarter to seven. So in a few more minutes, we're going to be stopping, amigos. You don't need anything. I mean, just bring your camera, see, maybe your hands. And that's the only thing that you need, okay? The, you don't even need, need money. What's the, that tree? It's a mimosa. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a mimosa, the yellow tree that you're gonna start to see from here and on. So see the blue agave, as you can notice, uh, Salvador is not right in the middle of the agave. Pulls all the water from the agave and kill the plant. Or it's like we know this uh, man, his name is Salvador. Salvador, we make a phone call a couple of days ago. And he said that uh, he can let us stop and see the blue agaves. Uh, he is not producing uh, tequila. He is the producer of the agaves. So as when the agaves are ready, he just sells it directly to those tequila factories. So he's just in charge of the blue agave. See? Actually belong to him. All the agave fields that you will see belongs to him, to his family. And they're the ones in charge of taking care of the plant. Now, I don't know how much you know about the blue agave, but the blue agave, so they can get reproduced, they have like little babies that grows really close to the uh, the same agave. So if you don't remove and replant the babies far away or in another area, not close to the mother agave, they're gonna pull the water from the mother agave and they're gonna kill the mother agave. So, part of the job of this people is just waiting where they start the babies growing and they have to replant it in another area. 
Sorry. Yeah. 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 Yeah.